sorry I've been away for a minute. I got sick. Maybe you can still hear it in my throat. I had like the just throat infection type thing with the coughing and the not important. So um, as you know, I've been doing like um, I've been really trying to focus on hair care, but you guys are like no styling. And by you guys, I only mean like two people. Let's yeah, let's be real. But yeah, so I figured. <coughs> that I will just sort of mix it up. We'll just keep um, alternating. I'll do hair care video and then do a styling video so that there's something for everybody. Okay, all right. So this mess that you see going on here is um, my, these twists are like four days old, four, maybe five, four or five days old and um it's just big twists and i know sometimes people are like yo how do you wear your hair every day but i legit have been wearing my hair like this to work and just putting it in like a little puff at the back and just you okay, guys it's natural hair anyway so um i am just going to show you guys my go-to style like my air day what i do most well, by the way most weeks recently that's just been my my thing uh, this year really yeah like the whole year that's this has been my hairstyle so i'm going to show you guys how i do it so let's do that i will be using water this is just water in a spray bottle um that had some other stuff so it's just water and just a tiny bit of oil in in there and the moisture well if that is focusing properly moisture well oil blend it's a nice oil blend of just like a different it's almost over a different bunch of things so yeah let's do it okay so we are just going to begin by just taking these down i'm going to spray them a little bit because they are a tad dry don't make it wet and um yeah put a tiny bit of oil in my hand and just take these down okay so this is just me putting in some oil getting it a little bit more moisturized so i'm not just breaking it all over the place um i was just uh, taking them really down really gently because you want to avoid you know breakage or any mechanical damage um a quick tip is that your hair should be really well moisturized when you're doing this if you want to <laughs> length anyway if you want to avoid breakage so i just kind of did a close-up so you guys can see what's really happening um, I'm just uh, taking the hair apart really gently and it's coming apart gently because it was really well moisturized for the past couple of days plus I added that little you know water before I began just to you know make things move a little better and uh, yeah so you're basically finger detangling finger combing whatever you want to call it and after I do that I just uh, make bigger sections and make like a big twist so yeah that's what I'm doing throughout my head we're back <laughs> so yeah it took about 21 minutes well let's say 22 and uh, here I just wanted to show you again the finger detangling process and how I just uh, do that do a bigger section and put it in a bigger twist just to make sure that the hair stays really stretched out huh? yeah so do a bigger twist and yeah Okay, so then here I just changed uh, like location so I could have my mirror next to me, my bigger mirror, because this process needs a big mirror. That's my back section. It's where I'm going to do my puff. And uh, yeah, so then we just take down the fat twists. And we're going to begin with the back section because we want to first create that puff. Um, that, shall we say, yeah, I mean, it's a puff, right? So yeah. So we're just going to do that back section first, take out all those twists and have a nice back section for our puff. Um, and can we just talk about how shiny and delicious my hair looks? Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so that's my boy bristle brush. Um, it's a soft bristle brush. 
I'll leave you guys some details on where you can get it and at how much, etc. Uh, so yeah, I just like lightly brush and it's really, really gentle by the way. It doesn't look that way, but it's really soft and just to, like get my hair a little bit, you know, together. And yeah, then you just make up off. Get your scrunchy puff holder, whatever you call it. I'm sorry, I was a little bit out of um, like a box eh? at this moment, but yeah. Uh, so you just want to do a puff and uh, a tip is you know just make sure you put your puff exactly where you want your bun to go because you know you might want a really low puff and you'll do a really you know you put that puff really low if you want it in the middle you know just do accordingly right so i just wanted my puff somewhere semi semi low okay semi low so that's where i put mine <laughs> and then i just rest my arms a bit because yo <laughs> Yes, yes, that's the look I'm giving you guys. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, by the way, I can't believe my hair has gotten to this point. Let's take a moment. Oh yeah, what I'm doing right here is just like making sure it's not too tight. And then I just go in and make like some small, small, no, not small actually, medium sized twists with that hair at the back. Because at the end of the day, we want to keep our hair protected right you look cute but you also want your hair to be protected so i just do some some busy um twists and like nothing nothing you know too neat or whatever but just some nice twists that i can just hold back there and once i'm done with the twists that is a wig cap regular old wig cap for like 2k downtown you guys and yeah i just make i just sort of twist the, the the twists you know i twist them into a cabal at the back there and then okay we're twisting we're twisting <laughs> it's not really any specific process but i just want to make sure it's in like a cabal so that you can cover it with your wig cap Again, this is all just part of keeping the hair protected as you know as much as possible. So I'll just you know double like a wig cap because it's too big anyway. And then I'll do that twice. And then there we have our nice secured puff back there. Perfect. Okay, so now is the twisting, but I just have to let you guys know I am not good at flat twisting. I feel like every time I do, I post like a photo when I have flat twists, y'all are like, girl, how do you learn how to flat twist? But this is where I started from, what I'm showing you right now. I literally just like, you can just do that if you can't flat twist. It will come out just as well, your hair will be just as protected. It works. So do that if that's, you know, if you just can't flat twist. Um, so I'm in the process of learning how to flat twist, so I do try to practice as much as usual, I, as much as possible. What? <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, so this is me honestly fighting, fighting guys with flat twisting. Um, I'm not good at it. I'm not even neat. I just found ways to, you know, forge if i'm being honest so yeah that's me just forging the flat twist. that's why i needed to be near my big mirror because yo it's a <laughs> forging okay anyway so that's me forging my flat twist flat twists are only and if oh by the way if you can do corners by the way do corners at this point if you prefer so yeah because i had my two sections right because i want that parted look i'm not doing that bigger section just twisting it all the way to the other side and i i don't know if you guys um have noted that i'm twisting i'm deliberately doing it away from my face because that's just the look i'm going for you can also do it towards your face i guess we should try that sometime but um this is just like my look of like every day uh yeah just twist it away from my face and just do it all the way to the back And surely you guys you can see that I'm forging right like things are not neat <laughs> things are really forged <laughs> but you know you just keep going you, if it looks you just try and make it as decent as you know your skills can allow you and just keep practicing I've been practicing flat twists by the way for like a year and this is where I've reached so honestly I'm not good at it <laughs> a year someone would have been much better I think but you know that's where I'm at so yeah, just twist it all the way to the bottom and let's just finish that bit real quick 
and then yeah at the back you just take it under your puff and then you can pin it back there or if it's firm you can chill but I pinned mine got my kabobi pin and put it in there just to make sure it stays um, also try to use as few bobby pins as possible I don't know lots of bobby pins is annoying and uncomfortable okay so then we're going to do a smaller section and with this section I like to go towards the face it's just like a way it um, balances it out when, you, when the other side is away from your face this side is towards your face and again guys the forging is real the flat twist is not particularly neat but you know I'm just put my way through Yeah, I was, for, I was like twisting in the direction I'm not used to, so things were getting weird. Anyway, so then you just do the same thing. Uh, pin this other side to the opposite side of your puff. Secure. I really hadn't noticed that that other hair was like hanging back there. <laughs> so you know, my bad. And yeah, that's what we have at this point. And you're probably thinking, where is the glamour you promised? Give me time, people, give me time. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just giving you guys like a look of how everything is. My parting game is not too shabby, no. It's all right. <laughs> okay, so once that's all done, this is what I do. I get my bottle with my spray. Don't overspray your, your hair. It's just water, by the way, in there. Water and a tiny bit of oil. Then I also add a tiny little bit of oil just to the top. Pat, pat, pat. Just to give it a little more, you know, off. And then I get my satin scarf. And I tie it over what we have right now. Um, you just want to, I mean, don't tie it too tight because you I've got those scarf headaches. Don't play. It's not a joke. Um, but just do it securely. You know, as secure as you can without giving yourself a headache, guys. So yeah, get your satin scarf, secure your hair in a way that will not give you a headache. <laughs> pat, pat, make sure. And then just, you know, tie it as usual. Just regular, old, regular stuff. And um, yeah, once we have gotten that nice and tied, you can keep it on for at least 30 minutes. That should be your minimum, I believe. So 30 minutes later, over mine was like an hour later. Um, hello, is that, are you the one? Are you the one? <laughs> So yeah, that water and oil really helps lay down your hair. And by the way, this lasts through the day, unless you're on the border the whole day, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it really lays the hair down in a nice, neat way. And you know, just brings the thing together. Cause again, if you're not a neat flat twister like me, yeah, that step really helps. So this is Mali braid. I talk about this a lot on my other social media platforms. That's a scrunchie. You just want to sort of loop it like that so the hair is secured um, you can get Mali braid almost anywhere by the way I tend to buy mine from Galidaya downtown it's 20 it's like 23k 25 so then you just put use the scrunchie to you know put it on your puff to put the hair on your puff a small scrunchie is better because then you don't have to keep once twice just put once the way I did Right, so then you get one side of the hair and you sort of lightly twist it, you know, not too tightly, but again, it really depends on the look you're going for. I wanted a slightly bigger puff. You twist it around the puff you already have and then secure it on the other side. So that you have like a donut type thing. And then you get your bobby pin, of course, and secure. And try as much as possible again, um, not to use too many bobby pins because you're like, nah. Nah, you don't need a bunch of bobby pins making you uncomfortable throughout the week. So just secure that side. And then you get the other side, and that's the side you're going to use to cover your puff that's underneath. You see? 
right you put it over and then you make sure you twist it in the opposite direction so your puff is a little bit even on both sides so I put it over and then I twist it and then the top part usually needs some securing so we'll put one more bobby pin in there and make sure it's as comfortable as possible you know I just I really believe in comfort you don't need to be going through your day uncomfortable and stuff yeah and then the rest of it you just take underneath there sometimes I don't even add a pin at this point it's usually really secure but if you need it go ahead and put it in um, like I did Okay, and once everything is nice and secure, hello, this is the cute, 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 cute puff you have going. Oh, hello, serving looks though. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if this was helpful. Tag me if you try it, and look out for my next video on moisturizing your hair, how to keep that hair glowy and shiny and lovely. Love you. Bye.